Buenos Aires is a meeting place for real characters and strange guys of the tango scene. Every Sunday, the same bold fellows appear at Plaza de Rego dressed in Borsellino and Gator. Besides earning some pocket money, their main aim is to show the visitors from abroad what is supposed to be the true expression of unsatisfied desire. Tango is something we can tangibly feel. No tengo más recuerdo que me aturda. No tengo que olvidar. Oswaldo, tango dancer. The tango lasts three minutes. These three minutes is the time to seduce a woman. The tango is the only dance that allows you to hold a pretty woman you like in your arms without even knowing her. That's why the dancer is reserved, even if he can dance better than her. Since the only motive of the tango is seduction, I am not interested in whether she can dance well or not. I am interested in the woman only. Oswaldo and his wife Pochi have been a couple for more than 40 years. The tango means for them the same as life itself, laughing, weeping, disappointment, enticement and passion. The tango itself originates from the Dockland area La Boca that has changed a lot during the last few years. Today, the cityscape is marked by blocks of flats with small suites that offer tight but cheap living space. The career of Diego Maradona started here in front of the Boca Juniors football stadium. That's also why such a number of young people dream of wealth and independence with a ball at their feet. Buenos Aires has 12 teams playing in the first league, which is the highest density of first league teams worldwide. La Boca, the old and untouched shantytown with a variety of wooden and corrugated iron houses, is one of the true sites of Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires Harbour could be just like any other harbour. However, this one is indelibly connected with the stranded hopes of a multitude of immigrants from Naples, Marseille and Barcelona. The sounds of different backgrounds merged into the songs of the uprooted people. A musical hybrid was born, the tango. Abdera is a dancer of the tango. The tango is always danced in the same way. What is needed is the feeling. One has to feel it. The dance does not consider age. All age groups learn to dance in tango schools, from children and young people to senior citizens. It is important to have feeling in the arms. When dancing, the arms create a kind of hold, they join the two dancers together. The tango reaches the body through the hearing as well, and it flows through the heart and leaves the body through the feet. This is the way I feel the tango. What looks rather simple on the stage is hard work though, and it even exceeds the feeling for the dance. To be a tango dancer requires far more than just acrobatics and lascivious gestures. Pimping, prostitution, big and small time crooks. 
Even today, the modern tango shows of Buenos Aires are determined by the image of this past background. Women danced the role of the prostitute in split dress, fishnet stockings and high heel stilettos. Men look like crooks, the flash of a knife in the twilight streets. It is history long since departed, that which started at the end of the last century. What has remained is the danced play of the sexes. Diego is a tango dancer. The tango is a passion. The audience notices if the tango is not in the heart of the dancer. Then it has purely only an artificial effect. One either feels the tango or one does not feel it. One can dance it entirely or not at all. When dancing the tango, one cannot lie. Argentina is distinguished by pristine nature, the beautiful mountain ranges of the Andes, a fascinating history, and finally by the very lively but quiet inhabitants themselves. Social differences make it what it is, a land full of sense and pride, expressed in the tango.